It's vegan recipes with Pat and Emily. Hi, thanks for stopping by. Today, I'm going to share my recipe for perfect oat milk. I know my mom just did hers, but mine's a little different. I like to start with steel cut oats, and I do it as like a meal prep. So let's get some water boiling. My water is boiling. Stir in my steel cut oats and yeah, fourth or half a teaspoon of salt. Stir this together. We are gonna wanna reduce this to a simmer. This is a really easy breakfast to make. It just takes a little time. That's why I like to do, I do four servings of the steel cut oats and with all of the fruit and nuts I add, it makes it five for me. All right, we'll be back. We are almost 10 minutes in. I'm gonna give it a stir. You can see it is starting to thicken up. I do not like my still cut oats like chewy at all. I want them super soft and smooth. So I'm going to cook these probably about 20 minutes. I'm going to stir this down again. Oh yeah, we're getting there. Oh, I'm going to have to start paying a little more attention to it. Off camera, I washed an apple and cut it up. And I'm going to continue getting out my dried fruit and nuts for this. After I turn my heat down a little bit. It just barely began to stick to the bottom, but we didn't burn. We're still good. I'm just going to get one single grain and see how soft it is. I think I'm going to leave it cook a little bit longer, but on really low now. Now this is the fun part. I really like to use these squat canning jars for this. That way, after they're full, I can just put a lid on them and pop them in my fridge. I'm just gonna divide this up. I pretty much only do this when it's cold out. I don't really want a warm breakfast if it's not cold out. Put the rest of this in my bowl for today. One more scoop in there. Now, I just go right ahead and put my apples in, even though I will be microwaving these ones throughout the week. And then I've got walnuts. I think this is the fun part because you can then add whatever you want. I am doing a very hearty winter version or fall time kind of apple and walnut thing, but you could do any kind of freeze dried fruit that you have or fresh fruit that you have. I don't have any seeds today. I'm gonna do some pecans, but I like to put sunflower seeds. I'm just crunching these nuts up a little bit with my hands. I'm going to add raisins, but you could add currants or cherries or cranberries would be really nice in this, I think. I don't really, I'm not really into the freeze dried fruit, like I said, but I think even like some freeze dried pineapple might be all right in here. Banana chips, lots of people like banana chips. The possibilities are endless, and sometimes I make a couple different ones because I am going to be eating this for, you know, days in a row. I like to sprinkle on a little bit of cinnamon. We have some vanilla powder I'm going to use just a tad of. You could also do cloves and nutmeg if you're into that. You could just put white sugar on here if you want. I like to put some maple syrup on it. Brown sugar would be delicious on here. And I like to add a little bit of some kind of nut milk, optional. And I would add the nut milk and the sweetener as I heat these up through the week. Now we're finished and we have breakfast for a week. Let's give it a try. I think this is a great hot breakfast. I like that I can prep it and have it ready for a week. You could easily double this if you have someone else that you're trying to feed in the morning. And you can mix it up and customize it however you would like. Please come back and watch us next week and see what recipes we have to share.